Um, so yeah. coming in number one is Deadpool. It repeated, winning the third weekend in a row. In the top spot, it made uh, $31.5 million. Um, it experienced a 44% drop from the previous weekend, and um, in three weeks, it made $285 million. Yep, and the worldwide total is uh, $610 million, and it's still going strong. It's already uh, the highest grossing comic book movie for Fox, eating the X-Men films by far, domestically anyway. It looks like you know, eventually, worldwide, it'll eventually be the highest grossing comic book movie. It looks like at the, uh, what do you think, 350, 400? I don't think it'll reach the 400s, but the 300s, yeah. uh, it's doable. And you know, another thing about Deadpool is, I don't think anyone knows the reason for its success. People now come up with a lot of reasons. Uh, right, they come up with a lot of reasons. It was a surprise I, hit. Yeah, it was a surprise hit, but I don't think anyone knows. I mean, for example, if uh, you were to analyze this movie, say, let's do another Deadpool, I don't think they can. Definitely in this favor. It's the first, well, not the first. Um, I mean, The Punisher is the first R-weighted. Not the first R-weighted, but one of the first R-weighted. It, it could just be the whole wisecracking, gory, R-weighted, filled with profanity. Uh, also, where we basically not safe for kids. <laughs> you know what? I'd like to offer my explanation why Deadpool succeeded. It has good timing because of all the other movies, superhero movies that came before it. And I think um, it came at the right time. You know, like all these other superhero movies, most of them were pretty good. And then suddenly this Deadpool came out and it's different enough. You know, they've seen enough of the other PG uh, movies. But then Deadpool yeah, comes yeah. along and it shook some things up. It's different yeah, enough that's, from the that's other a, ones. Yeah, that's exactly it. Kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy was pretty different from the lot. And Deadpool is very different from the lot. But that's after the fact, though. But before this, people were like, uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Right, but that's why I'm saying it's so hard yeah. to replicate. It's like if they try to do another Deadpool with different characters, it might not work. Yeah, it is hard to uh, replicate originality like something you haven't seen before. I mean, some people might be able to tap into that for like the first movie or so. It's kind of like when Avatar first came out when 3D was huge, and then uh, Alice in Wonderland came out, which kind of followed that trend with 3D and was a huge hit. But movies afterwards that try to maximize and try to cash in on the 3D um, craze, that kind of fad eventually faded really quickly, the 3D fad. And I could see after Deadpool that uh, there might be more uh, all-weighted comic book movies coming out. But it's one of those things where, you know, the first couple of movies might be able to cash in on that, this new fad. But maybe by the third or fourth movie, people would be like, all right, we're, we're good. Right. Ultimately, we're good with it, yeah, comic book movies. yeah, ultimately, it's, it's the character and the story, right? And it's being like, original. Listen. Yeah, right, right, right. It, being it, original and being different, like you said, being unique in the marketplace. So we'll chalk it up to that, and we'll see if they can do it. Certainly, Deadpool's gonna. There's gonna be a sequel coming along, and we'll see how that will do.